All right, so some news out of Arizona, and this surprises me. Uh, Darcy Kemper is in the final year of his contract. Now, I understand wanting to give him some some certainty and not have to worry about it, but he goes from he makes $1.85 million this year, he'll make $4.5 million next year and the following season. Arizona has this, this pattern they're following where everybody's getting pretty strongly compensated considering the team has yet to make the playoffs. And that's one thing that concerns me is now you look at the money between Ronta and 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 Kemper, and I think it's a lot of money on goaltending. And Kemper had a great year, and I, I get that part of it, but he's had one really good year as a starter, and we don't know how he's going to do this year. And I, I honestly think the smartest way to go with the UFA is to wait until, I'd say, January or February. But you know what? You do you, John Chaka, and uh, for, for Darcy Kemper, uh, $4.5 million is a nice raise for him, and he doesn't have to worry about it. So it's out of the way. He doesn't have to worry about it. Coyotes fans don't have to worry about their goaltending. And again, it raises questions about what are their plans with their other goaltenders in the system because Ronta and, and uh, Kemper aren't going anywhere. Unless there is some concern with Ronta's injuries and with his propensity for getting new ones that maybe they're going to end up with a situation where they need somebody other than Ronta. So we'll see. I like the contract. I like the term as well. I like the two-year term. And I think we're going to see this with, with players who are above the age of 26, 27. I think we're going to see guys getting less term. You may get your money, but you may get a little bit less term um, as teams look for more flexibility as soon as possible. So he's under contract for the rest of this season. The new contract kicks in. That's two more years. So that's three years of Darcy Kemper for Arizona fans. And we can start debating now about whether this has any risk to it or not the the good thing is because it's only a two-year contract the risk is really really minimal so um you know arizona continues to pay guys and they they pay them before they're even close to free agency it would seem and and you know chaka really does have a vision here and we'll see how things turn out uh this season the pressure is really going to be on the arizona coyotes to not just make some improvements here and there, but to actually make the postseason. So we'll see how things turn out. If you're a Coyotes fan, let me know how you feel about this contract. And uh, for fans elsewhere, surprised about the $4.5 million uh, annual number, or do you say, yeah, no, that's pretty good. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video, and uh, this is the first surprising signing of the brand new season. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.